This is Codec. Codec is Laser's approach to audio degradation and is available as a free download on our website. Instead of adding vinyl crackles, guitar cabinet simulation, or cassette distortion, Codec degrades sound in a more modern way by utilizing a real-time audio coding standard made for doing things like video calls as a discrete audio effect. This is Codec in its second version. This video goes over all of the effects that were available in the original version of Codec, as well as the new features that have been added in version 2. In Codec, the audio is divided down into individual packets, which can be randomly dropped out with the lost chance control. This forces the internal decoder to attempt to conceal the packet loss. Depending on the loss mode option on the left side of the control knob, the way that packet loss is treated can sound different. The first option is a more harsh, crackly means of handling packet loss. And note that at lower bit rates, the packet loss concealment system generally works differently. The second mode is similar to version 1, but with more smoothing applied in between loss states. Finally, the third mode here holds the packet that was last available and continually repeats it when a new packet cannot be found. This control in the middle adjusts the bit rate of the audio encoding process. Reducing this value reduces the overall quality of the sound, and the effects start to become very noticeable once the bit rate goes below 32 kilobits. This control on the right is a new feature in Codec version 2, the packet disorder knob. Usually, packets are fed in one after the other, but the disorder control allows for packets to be shuffled around before being used by the decoder. This control here forces the audio decoder to work in a specific bandwidth. In auto mode, the bandwidth changes based on the encoder's bitrate, or it attempts to automatically roll off higher frequencies that do not get captured when the audio bitrate is lower. But this control can change this to one of five different bandwidth targets. Another new feature that has been added to Codec in version 2 is the noise control. This allows for additional colored noise to be added to the audio before being encoded, giving the audio encoder a messier signal to work with and adding in artifacts that wouldn't have usually been there. Changing the noise knob adjusts the level of this noise, and the color changes the frequency area that the noise takes up, with negative values being lower frequency and higher values being higher frequency. One more feature is the codec mode switch, 
which swaps the audio between processing in music mode and processing in voice mode. This parameter can't be automated by the DAW, as the entire processing algorithm needs to be recreated for the specific processing mode it's operating in. The original controls that used to be where the noise control is, being the controls for crunch processing, can now be found in an interactive filter editor that shows up when you hover over the visualizer. The controls behave the same, but now all three parameters can be changed at once with the filter controller. Additionally, a new feature in Codec version 2 is that the shape of the crunch filter can be changed. Crunch adds in a large amount of gain to specific frequencies before being fed into the audio encoder, and after the audio is decoded, an inverse filter with the opposite gain value is applied, so that distortion artifacts can be introduced to the signal without increasing the signal's overall volume. Thank you for watching. A manual for Kodak can also be found on our website.